malignant melanoma are a kind of skin cancers they are not very common in indians but when they happen they are known to be aggressive and they spread very fast and therefore it's very important that we diagnose them timely and they receive appropriate treatment hello i am dr devrat arya i am director in medical oncology at max institute of cancer care saket so what are malignant melanomas our skin is composed of different kinds of cells one of the most important cells are the pigment containing cells called melanocytes when melanocytes start dividing out of control and acquire the ability to spread that's when these lesions are called malignant melanomas so they are one kind of skin cancers while there can be different kinds of skin cancers and malignant melanoma are one of them they are known to be one of the most aggressive kinds of skin cancer so what causes malignant melanoma one of the highest risk factor for malignant melanoma is ultraviolet exposure and when we talk about ultraviolet exposure one of the most common source of ultraviolet exposure is sunlight there can be other risk factors for malignant melanoma in the west people use uv lamps or uv beds for tanning and we know that they can be a risk factor for malignant melanoma some people have lots and lots of moles and these people who have lots of moles may be at a higher risk of developing this disease similarly people with very fair skin or blue eyes people who are older people who already have some family members who have been known to have this disease are also at higher risk similarly suppression of immunity in a variety of conditions including hiv infection is also one of the risk factor for malignant melanoma there are variety of conditions where there can be a suppression of immunity including infection with hiv and aids and those patients who also have suppressed immunity may also be at a higher risk of developing malignant melanoma so how do you prevent malignant melanoma the most important factor is prevention of exposure to sunlight so if you are stepping out this in the sun try and avoid the bad hours the hours between 10 am in the morning and 4 pm in the afternoon if you still need to step out ensure that your skin is properly covered so wear full sleeve shirts and full trousers it's important to prevent exposure and use sunscreens use a hat use a goggle and also very importantly ensure that the children who have a higher propensity of sun exposure are adequately protected try and avoid usage of uv lamps and uv beds and be alert towards your skin lesions so what are the possible indicators that one may be having a malignant melanoma we all have moles typically moles are round small brown or black in color may be flat or sometimes may be elevated however if you have a new mole which is different in color that could be a marker that that this mole could be a malignant melanoma similarly there are other telltale signs sign one is asymmetry when one part of the mole looks different from the other that could be malignant melanoma a mole which does not have typical round borders instead has sharp borders irregular borders could be a malignant melanoma colors like pink color red color etc in a mole is a telltale sign similarly if the mole is very big in size more than 6 mm typically more than the size of an eraser on a pencil head this could be a suspicious lesion as well moles that change with time are also risky if you have multiple moles and one of these moles starts oozing starts bleeding if you start developing itching around the mole if you feel that the pigment is leaking out of the mole into the surrounding structures or you have redness in the surrounding structures that could also be a marker of a suspicious lesion so if you have all of this who is the right doctor to be consulted the right doctor to go to is a skin specialist 
or what we refer to as dermatologists. If you also have a known diagnosis of malignant melanoma, then the right doctors to go to are sarcoma specialists or sarcoma surgeons. So what happens when you go to a doctor with a suspicious lesion? If a patient comes to me with a suspicious lesion, I would ask for the symptoms, try and identify the causing factors, the risk factors, I would examine the lesion and I will also examine the entire body. Diagnosis of malignant melanoma entails a biopsy and there are different kinds of biopsy procedures which can either confirm or refute the diagnosis of malignant melanoma. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, next comes staging. So how do we stage malignant melanoma? Staging is basically identifying the extent or the spread of the disease. Size of the lesion, how big the lesion is, how deep the lesion is, whether there is ulceration on the lesion, whether the lesion has spread to the surrounding lymph nodes or to distant organs will decide the staging. And therefore, the pathological analysis of the biopsy and sometimes scans like CT scans or PET scans help in confirming stage of the disease. So what happens if somebody is diagnosed with a malignant melanoma? Treatment is defined by stage. Stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3 are considered highly curable. The backbone of treatment is a good surgery. You need your sarcoma specialist or your surgeon to do a good surgery with adequate margins around the disease of normal tissue to ensure that the disease is totally taken out. For stage 2 disease, the surgeon may also want to look at lymph nodes through procedures like sentinel lymph node biopsies or lymph node dissections. For stage 3, typically a lymph node dissection is considered essential. For early stage disease, once a successful surgery has been done, we want to prevent recurrences and therefore for most patients with stage 3 disease, there will be, will be a role of adding immunotherapy after successful surgery to ensure that the disease doesn't come back, that there is no recurrence and we know that those patients who do receive immunotherapy actually live longer compared to those who don't. Similarly. Even for earlier stage diseases like stage 2 disease, there is an evolving role of immunotherapy. For some patients, there may also be a role of targeted therapies. What about those patients who have stage 4 disease? Are they incurable? No. The answer is no, they are not incurable. For certain stage 4 malignant melanomas, there is a possibility of treatment with a curative intent, where we start with immunotherapy have the disease localized and then this can be followed by successful surgery and more immunotherapy or targeted therapy thereafter. Even for those patients for which a surgery is not feasible, we have newer advances, newer immunotherapy drugs, combination immunotherapy drugs, targeted therapies and sometimes chemotherapies which ensure that not only the patients live long, they also have a good quality of life. So if you have a malignant melanoma, don't be discouraged. Most of the cases when diagnosed early are curable. And even for those patients who have an advanced stage disease, there is treatment that's possible. Sometimes cure may be feasible. And in other cases, advances in treatment ensure a good, long, healthy life. Remember, not every mole is a malignant melanoma but if you have a suspicious lesion please go to your doctor and try and see if this could be what we call as a melanoma